Hi, welcome to another session of Grace Creatives. My name is Leah, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a paper mache ornament. So let's get started. First, the materials. You're gonna need a garbage bag to use as a placemat. You're going to need a clear plastic ornament, some Mod Podge, some sheets of newspaper or pages of a book, some paints, maybe some glue or glitter glue, a paintbrush, and here I already have one paper mache ornament that we will end up decorating. Step one, you're going to take your sheets of paper. I have some uh, pages from Proverbs here, and you're going to just turn them into little pieces. So just tear them away. Get out that anger, frustration, aggression. It feels good to rip paper sometimes, you know? It's very therapeutic. All right, now you should have a nice little pile of shredded paper strips. And you're gonna take your Mod Podge and your clear plastic ornament and your little pieces of paper. You're gonna dip your paper into your Mod Podge and then you're gonna to wanna to scrape any excess off. Kind of get back into the container if you can. It's a little messy and that's okay. Kind of feels gross, but also kind of feels good. Depends on if you like it or not. But you're just going to scrape off that excess glue, excess Mod Podge. And you're going to apply it to your ornament. It's kind of Use your finger to run across, to lay it down flat. Okay. Move on to your next piece. Your paper, dip it in, scrape the excess. Sometimes they get folded up, you gotta unfold them. And then you'll just that onto your ornament. Use your finger to scrape it across. You'll just keep repeating that step over and over again until your entire ornament is covered. You're going to want to make sure that you're overlapping your pieces of paper so that your entire ornament is going to be covered in the end. Sometimes I like to just dip my finger in the glue and then run it over the top as more of the Mod Podge is on the ornament. Okay, so now you're just gonna wanna spin around your ornament and make sure the whole thing is covered in your newspaper or pieces of your book. And then we're gonna set this aside to dry. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. You can feel free to do the same. All right, now that we have clean hands, we're ready to move on. So while this ornament is drying, if you've got one of our kits, you actually have an ornament that is already dry. So we can get started on decorating this one and then you can decorate your other ornament whenever it dries, whenever you have some free time. So for this one, um, I have a blue glitter glue. So I'm trying to figure out like, ooh, what can I do that's blue? And I think I'm gonna do more of like an ocean wave uh, ornament. So you can do whatever you want, get creative with it. You have all your different paint colors. You can mix your paint colors. You can use glue, you can use glitter. You don't have to, you just, this is your time to have some fun, get creative with it. And um, you get to make a beautiful holiday ornament. So just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get started with uh, some dark blue. But again, you don't have to follow what I'm doing right now. You choose whatever colors you wanna do, whatever patterns, you can paint the whole thing, you can paint part of it, you can make a design on it, whatever you choose to do, it's your ornament. All right, so got first little layer of some waves on there. I'll keep adding to it. 
but um, you can, you don't have to do this. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. They make a pretty cool globe. So if you wanted to use some green and blue and make a globe, that would be awesome. Um, and then you can always do like traditional Christmas colors. I mean, the reds, the greens, the golds, the silvers, the whites, um, just, you know, have fun with it, get creative. And um, do you decorate for the holidays? Do you, um, do you decorate more traditional? Do you get creative? Um, sometimes I do like a more of a beach theme with my holiday decorations. Um, I love to, I have multiple Christmas trees. So I have my very traditional Christmas tree with the reds and the golds and the silvers. And then I have like my little mini Christmas trees that I'll do like a different theme each year. Sometimes it's like a, you know, like a beach theme. And then um, I have like my other little Christmas tree and every year I get a new ornament and that ornament will symbolize something from that year. And so I have my special tree that has a specialty ornament each year. So I love to reminisce and look back at the different ornaments and remember what that year was about. So um, if you have any traditions, I'd love to hear about them. And um, yeah, if you don't have any, you wanna start some, go ahead. Now's the time to do it, make some traditions. As we move on to my ornament, I wanted to add some lighter blue and I don't really have the right color blue. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of white into my blue to make it a little bit lighter. So feel free to mix your colors to get the color that you want. And for me, I don't wanna put my blue paintbrush into my white paint. So I'm actually gonna pull out just a little bit of white paint and set it onto my mat. Using the back of my paintbrush. And then I'll pull from this. Make a little mixture. And just add it in. And that's making that lighter blue. For me, I'm choosing to leave some of my paper mache showing. I just think it looks cool. Since I'm doing some waves, I'm gonna add in some white caps to my water, the rough seas. Okay, I kind of have my ocean and waves looking how I want them to look. I'm gonna add some glitter or glue just for the fun of it because who doesn't love a little glitter in the holidays? I'm gonna kind of outline my waves with it. And gave my waves a little ripple effect, the glitter. And so I'm gonna say I'm done with this cute little ornament. I'm excited to paint my next one whenever this one dries. And um, maybe I'll do that one a little bit more traditional. But I hope you're enjoying making your ornament. I hope you enjoy your holiday season. And I will see you here next week. Thanks, have an amazing night.